Hi, welcome along to Arsenal Fan TV, and this is the aftermath. Well, what a frustrating weekend. First of all, the result. West Bromwich Albion had one shot on target, yet still they still beat us 2-1. I don't even need to say no more. That sums it up. I mean, we absolutely battered them. We hit the post. We missed the penalty. We missed sitters. I mean, on another day, we could have won that game about 4-5. It was kind of one of those games where you look at it and you say, it's one of them. You're going to get one of them every season where, you know, you battered the team and you just haven't got the result. I mean, you couldn't fault the effort of the team in the second half. They really, really went for uh, West Brom and, and they just couldn't get the ball over the line. I mean, the penalty subbed it, summed it up. Um, Santi Cozzola slipping over just at the last minute, a John Terry moment, and you just knew after that that was it. I mean, it was just so, so, so frustrating. But probably the most damaging thing about the weekend was the injury to Francis Coquelin. I mean, uh, I think it was Claude who said in his uh, video after the game, it's the moment that we've all been dreading. We've been all saying since the summer, we need a backup. Defensive midfielder, Lestein Schneiderlin, uh, Kondogbia, uh, all these names that were linked with Arsenal. Arsene Wenger didn't sign an outfield player. And now it's going to come back to haunt us because Mikel Arteta, who came on to replace um, Coquelin, he's injured, out again with another calf injury, was at fault for both of the goals in the game, didn't have a very good game, bit of a nightmare game for him anyway. And Matthew Flamini, remember, when he came in before, he got injured straight away um, after that um, performance that he put in, great performance against Tottenham earlier on in the season. And is Flamini the answer? I mean, remember what was happening to Arsenal before Coquelin came in. We just kept getting done on the counter-attack. Players just tearing away down the middle of the park. Uh, no cover in front of that back four. And we were getting done game after game. Coquelin came in. Solved that problem, but we should have got back up. We didn't do it. And now I'm just hoping to God that we're not going to pay the price because it's either going to be we are going to have to get someone in in January or if we don't, I can't see how we can win the title if we don't have a proper defensive midfielder in front of that back four. And that, for me, was the most damaging thing about the weekend because it's not terminal, the defeat. It's a bad defeat. You know, we've got a great record at West Brom. You don't want to be losing to a team like that. But it's not terminal because results kind of went our way. You know, City got battered as well. Um, all right, United won. But results weren't too bad. You know what I mean? Nobody's really pushed away. We're just two points behind uh, the leaders at the moment. So it's not the end of the world, but the injury to Coquelin, how bad is that going to be? That is the one that I'm worried about. Let's get into your tweets and see what uh, you guys had to say about the game. Um, if we go to James first, at Jams, ZZJH, he said, uh, devastated about Coquelin. We won't be the same team without him. Wenger needs to add in January to maintain a title challenge. I, I think he's spot on there. J. Alexis um, Ozil says, a freak result uh, from Campbell's chance at a penalty. You just knew it wasn't going to be our day. I'm more annoyed about Cochrane's injury. I mean, you sum it up perfectly, mate. Sum it up perfectly there for me. Um, Block 26 Arsenal says, our stubbornness in the transfer market is coming back to haunt us purely down to lack of depth onwards and upwards. Um, you can't, again, argue with what you've got to say there. Uh, ben Garbrave says, uh, forget about the West Brom game and just move on. Regards on the Cochrane injury, play Ramsey with Cazola when he returns. But again, is Ramsey a defensive midfielder? We tried him sort of playing that position before. Ramsey likes to get forward. We need a player who's going to sit there, be disciplined, be dynamic, will get around, protect that back four, and can get forward. And Ramsey, great box-to-box -box player, but he's, for me, not a defensive midfielder. 
Um, Adam Arsenal says, complete arrogance from Wenger not to add in the key areas last summer. The reason why the league title is not possible this season. Pretty damning that. Um, at the Dream 34 says, we won't see Coquelin again this season. They said it'll be at least three months. Look at Walcott and Ox after the international break, they said, and they're still not back. And he's spot on. I mean, maybe it's the international break next year they're talking about. I don't know. That injury thing is just mental at arse, I'm telling you. Uh, Eskimo Franchi says, uh, what's a man without a cock? <laughs> he said, we're done this season, Robbie. Thanks again to Arsene Wenger placing faith in Arteta. And there was that fan on Saturday who said that he don't think Arteta is good enough to get into West Brom's team, so why is he captain in Arsenal? If you look at all the top teams around Europe, with Arteta, and I don't want to disrespect Arteta, he's been a great servant for Arsenal. He's come in and he's been a leader, he's been excellent for Arsenal. But would Arteta get into any of the top teams in Europe right now? The answer we know is no. Um, Jack Blackwell says, even though it's a dreadful result, we're extremely unlucky. Fans are acting like it's the apocalypse. We are still in the title race. You were right there, Jack. And finally, Adam Humphreys, um, he says, no cock, no party. <laughs> he says, Arteta and Flamini are just not good enough to cover. And I think he's right. I think over a couple of games, they're good enough. If you're talking three months, four months, nah. We need to sign someone in January to cover for Coquelin. That's what it's going to boil down to. And then even that player, when you sign him in January, if we sign him in January, he needs to get used to how we play. He's got to hit the ground running. It's a very, very bad day, um, that injury to Coquelin. It's, it's bad. It's bad. There's no getting away from it. <sighs> Injuries. What team can win the title when they have so many key players missing? Wilshire, Welbeck, Ramsey, Oxlade, Chamberlain. You just can't. Walcott, you're not going to win the title if you've got all your key players. Now, Coquelin, it ain't going to happen. We need to get some of these injured players back. ASAP. Um, listen, don't forget to check out our shop if you're looking for um, a Christmas present with a difference. Check out this baby here. Um, Brand new Meza Urzel t-shirt flying out of the shop at the moment. Uh, make sure you get your hands on one of them. Go to aftvstore.com. There's also loads of other new products in there. If you're looking to give your loved one a Christmas present with a difference, that's a place to go. Also, we're going to be doing a special Black Friday sale this week, Friday. So make sure you check it out. Um, don't forget to subscribe to us here at Arsenal Fan TV. We're closing in on 200,000 subscribers. So if you haven't already subscribed, please, please, please subscribe. Also want to say a big, big thank you to everybody who follows us on Instagram. We've just hit 100,000 followers on Instagram. So thank you very much for that. And uh, keep subscribing to us, liking us on Facebook, following us on Twitter, Instagram, all the platforms we're on. Uh, I'm going to get a bit more busier on Snapchat as well. I've been getting cussed off by people saying, yo, what's up with your Snapchat, man? The activity's low. I'm going to address that. Don't worry about that. But uh, thanks for watching. Um, chance to bounce back against Dynamo Zagreb. We've got to. It's not going to be an easy game. They put up a good fight um, in the last round against Olympiakos away, only losing that in the last minute. Going to be a tough game. If we can get through that, then we've got Norwich at the weekend. Again, a very winnable game, a must-win game now, I'd say. Um, two real good chances for Arsenal to bounce back despite the injuries. Let's hope we can do that. I, I, I'm going to have to disagree with Claude again. I think, I, and, and said what Mo said, it's, it's, it's just one of these days. It's, it's disappointing. I mean, he's calling me, he's slagging off Mikel, but I don't think you could do anything about the own goal. It just happens, that's one of those things. I mean,